Hi and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to troubleshoot Mozilla Firefox. Uh, maybe you're getting some uh, crashing, maybe the program's crashing, maybe it's hanging, freezing, maybe it's not opening properly. So I'm going to show you some ways to uh, eradicate these problems and maybe uh, sol solve a lot of the little niggly problems that you have with uh, Mozilla Firefox. So the first thing I would do if I was you I would actually come to the actual location in your startup area right click and go to safe mode Firefox safe mode okay which opens this pop this uh, little box up now if you can't find that icon you can actually go to your run bar okay and type Firefox like so Firefox dot exe space uh, dash safe dash mode okay like so and then push enter and that opens it up now inside there I would actually disable all the add-ons reset the toolbar on the controls um, reset bookmarks to Firefox defaults uh, I wouldn't really worry about that until we back it up anyway so I'm going to show you some ways to back up all that stuff before we do all that preferences and stuff like that I would but you could put the ticks in all this and actually just go into safe mode okay like so if you wanted to just to see how it runs now this is gonna be real should be running real smooth now if you get any problems whilst you're in this area like this using it in safe mode then obviously I would suggest um, some more more serious action like maybe uninstalling the program and actually reinstalling it again because obviously if it does work and it as he, and actually works okay then I would actually suggest it's something to do with extensions uh, plugins profiles something of that nature okay so if it does eradicate any problems that's where the problems will be lying okay so let's shut that off and uh, next thing I would ask you to do is go to Mozilla Firefox on your desktop the shortcut icon come down to properties and I'd actually go to the compatibility tab at the top here and then run this program in compatibility mode now I would only suggest you do this for Windows XP it does eradicate a lot of problems and actually run it in Windows 2000 okay and apply an OK and that actually fixes a lot of problems if you've got them okay but this only really works in Windows XP okay let's uh, open up the actual browser itself now and uh, have a look in the tools and options now once we've got this window open I'll come to the main tab here first and I would restore the default okay to back to the way it should be okay and also the next place I want you to have a little look is manage your add-ons now you're probably gonna have a load more had add-ons here than what I've got I've, I don't really have a lot of add-ons in here I've only got add, uh, add block plus which is a really good add-on but you may have a ton of them here okay so just disable the ones um, that you don't want and if they're if you want them all just basically disable all of them and see if your problem goes away if it does then it's something to do with one of these and then just enable one of them at a time until you find out which one is causing the problem Now, sometimes what can tend to happen is you may have updated your a browser at some stage to a newer version and say maybe you're on 3.5 and you're still running old uh, extensions and plugins for the older version and you need to do a lot of updates so you need to do updates to update the, the latest version okay so let's have a little look at the themes also themes if you're using a special theme in your um, browser maybe the themes a bit buggy it's not been coded properly and it might be a bit um, a bit moody and that's what's causing the actual problems with crashing and freezing or, or something of that nature the next place you want to look is your plugins tab now this is these areas here are the most common what causes problems so have a good look and a good route through here to find out if there's anything in there that you don't need if you don't need it disable it okay if you do need it obviously leave it enabled but maybe um, you know find out there's anything that's you don't need or that's a bit dodgy that might have a, a it might be a third-party plugin and if it's a third-party plugin just disable it for temporary 
to see whether that fixes your problem because sometimes third party plugins um, can be a bit buggy and they might be causing the problem okay so now we've had a look in there let's have a little look at uh, content that's okay just wanted to okay that's okay the, the place I want to look at next is actually privacy another good tip to do in um, in Firefox is actually clear all your history Let's put the ticks in here and clear all the history make sure it's on everything and clear okay just to make sure everything's out if before you do that if you want to back up your passwords by all means do so and I'm going to show you how to do that right now before you actually run this clear history okay because this may clear all your passwords and site preferences and stuff so you want, might want to back all that up first okay as you can see in this security tab here there's not much that we need to use but what I want to do is I want to show you a program to back up the passwords and stuff for every website that you've got so we can actually sort out a new profile because that's another thing that you're going to need to do now if you come to start run and actually inside here you'll find um, profile yeah profile manager and it's uh, you need to type in there Firefox dot exe dash profile manager like so okay click OK sorry that's uh need to shut that off first okay profile manager and then click and click enter right and that will actually um bring up the actual profile manager well now what I suggest you do here is actually create a new profile because the prof profile may be corrupted okay now when you start a new profile everything will be back to the way it should be and you should have a nice um, nice clean Firefox profile to start with you can actually import some of your other stuff at a later date so and this site that I want to show you here this is the location where your profile folder is lo is located for Windows NT um, 2000 XP and Vista okay so if you go to your start run and you come to your run bar and you type that in your run bar this one here yeah? in your run bar you will actually you'd find a lot of your profiles in there and any extensions and stuff okay so let me just show you where that is should be already in there there you go that's it in there push enter like so and up will come this box inside here this is where your plugins are this is your extensions and this is your Firefox and your profiles this is where all the all the goodies are okay now you could back up that folder if you wanted to or you could uh, delete the old profile if you wanted to but maybe keep hold of it just in case that you needed it or something goes wrong somewhere I always like to keep it back up so I'm going to show you a program you can actually use okay now the program this is this guy that's made this program um, this guy here Lucas so if you have a little look here this is the actual program once you installed it you can actually download it it's freeware um, just make a donation if you feel that it's a good program and as you can see it's got backup profile restore profile which is really handy and you can actually back up all all the goodies that you've been saved now the most important thing as I said is emails address book bookmarks history sidebars um, everything really and you can actually back all that stuff up before you actually delete any profile or be before you actually delete any history so you don't lose any of your good stuff that you want another great plugin is this program but before you do all the work maybe I should have showed you all these before we started anyway but this is called password exporter okay now if you download this plugin what it's gonna do is do exactly as it says it's gonna export all your passwords that you've got saved now you may have like me a ton of passwords in there like forums uh, YouTube you know the list endless really and it will store all those passwords in here you can actually export those and save them so you don't have to re put them all in again so if you want to delete your profile and restart a new profile then do so but back them all up first and you can actually put your passwords back in and there's no stress okay so they're really good little uh, programs to actually keep in mind I'll put the uh, links up on the actual description so you can actually download those okay uh, and I will post these uh, this up here like so just so you can actually see in the description okay so 
the only other option I would suggest if you're still having problems after all that is actually go start control panel and remove programs and I'd actually remove the actual Firefox itself and reinstall it and I'd actually go through the registry and clean up all the old dead registry file and put a new one in so because obviously it's going to save you a lot of aggro but may, make sure you back up all that stuff first yeah before you do that so you don't lose all your all your stuff so you just have to remove that okay anyway I hope this uh, video has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel if uh, if you've got any questions or anything like that please leave a comment or email me if you want if you've got any requests for videos by all means send me a send me an email to suggest a video that I can make and I'll do my best to make it for you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.